think we got cards this time. I know, it's like we're official. We're fancy. Uh -oh. We're fancy now. Ooh. We're fancy now. Cards. Fancy. Special. Got a question or an answer you see? Email us straight to JB every week. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube too. Hit up JB, he'll tell you what to do. Wanna hear from me? Just ask JB. And what is up, Stu Crew? It is another episode of Ask JB with the lovely and talented Miss Cherie Manon. Manon, Manon. I like when you do the dance with I, it. You like that. You know I what do. that is, right? The Muppets. Muppets. Of it's course. The Muppets. Of course. It's the Muppets. I miss the Muppets, you know? But we are here to answer your questions. But first of all, since the opening just played, I must thank Mr. Garrett Fallon uh, over in Europe. I think he's in England. He made that open for us. Uh, he so did? Yes, he made the open. Isn't it amazing? It's, that little it's really good. I like Mo it. Monty Python, my little jaw popping up and down. Really, really yeah. cool, Garrett. And you can go check out Garrett right here uh, on YouTube.com slash FallG51. And he entertains and teaches about how to recreate the most popular TV and movie uh, digital effects. No further ado, let's get right to it, guys. Number one question is from Benny is here. And Benny is here says, do you guys get recognized on the street a lot by fans? And if so, is it awkward? I seem to get recognized on the subway at eight in the morning as I'm going to morning drop off. Mm -hmm. Let me just say something, John. I don't look like this at 8 in the morning, but they always approach me, but generally because I'm with my kids, they're, they're nice and they're calm. If you run at me or if you take a picture like from behind a pole, I don't like that. That would be awkward. Yeah, that would be awkward. It's weird. Um, I I'll get recognized um, in Penn Station, somebody like screaming as I'm coming down the subway. It's John Base now. When it first started, uh, it reminds me of my mom, who's a prim and proper woman. We're coming down the subway stairs. Three guys are screaming, it's John out because that's my given name that's my given name by birth but my mom I'm thinking she goes oh my god oh my god and I thought she was offended she goes I can't believe those commercials those guys actually said our name correctly people in our own family can't even pronounce based out correctly that's such a mom thing to do focus on the good right it, it is focus on the good but uh basically anytime you want to come up in the street it is never awkward uh people uh do not get themselves on tv to be anonymous so uh right you're, you're not gonna see me doing this no way I, I don't do that you know those people who I say like Oh, don't recognize me, leave me alone. Well, get your ass off TV. Why right? are you on TV? And the people that always slam the paparazzi in the press mm -hmm. and all that, well, that's your job, so. Yeah. And you know what the worst was? Jennifer Aniston used to, at the height of her popularity, would wear the same outfit day after day, so the paparazzi could not make money off her shot. Jennifer Aniston, didn't you make money? All right, next one. Rapid fire here. Uh, Biggie D-Line, huge fan of the show. Style question for video, to tuck or not to tuck? Uh, shirts, that is. I am a big boy still. To me, it is not comfortable to tuck. What are your thoughts? Shari. You know what? As a drag queen says, tuck it. You know, when you leave it out, you're always going to look bigger. If you have to go to a specialty store to get something that fits you in the shoulder because you are bigger, you can have it tapered in and you can continue to have it tapered in. You must know your appropriate size. Go to a good tailor. A better store will do this for you. Complimentary. Uh, and I am going to give the argument for not tucking. I love it when you have the shirt hanging out, especially when it is tailored for you, because especially if you are short-waisted uh, or high-waisted, as they say, with a short torso, you look ridiculous with your shirt tucked in. You look horrendous no matter how in good shape you're in. So if you have wide shoulders and a skinny waist, let it be untucked, but make sure that the bottom is even. Don't have it be one of those really, really long bottoms so it looks like a dress that you need a belt on. Biggie D-Line, uh, continuing with him, uh, he goes, I remember I've had five knees surgeries, mostly cleared out broken cartilage. Uh, they say I have degenerative arthritis, so as you can assume, when I squat, I can't go all the way down. Am I doing anything for my legs if I half-ass it? Uh, are there any leg moves that I can do that will gain size but not destroy cartilage? Doing something is always, always, always better than doing nothing, okay? So if you can only go halfway down and your doctor says just go halfway down, you're still exercising part of the quads, part of the glutes, even if you're not doing the full range of motion. Absolutely. At Biggie, I've actually, I was a former pro snowboarder. I've had three knee surgeries. I have titanium. Factoid. <laughs> I have titanium screws in here. There's a few things where it'll still click. So same thing John was saying. I do what I can. There's certain things that I, it hurts, so I don't do that. So I find another appropriate exercise. Just listen to your doctor. Use your common sense. If it hurts, stop. Don't do it. And now number four is from Kristen Rodriguez. Huge fan of the show on Facebook. 
Usually these things come in on Twitter and YouTube, but Facebook, she says, uh, John, R B in a movie role one day. Tell me who like be in movie role with. Kristen, we just avoid the grandma because you are such a fan <laughs> of the show. It really doesn't matter, you know, because God it bless. is what it is. God bless. That's what I say. Uh, who would I like to be in a movie role with? Um, two. Two come to mind. Number one, uh, Emma Stone. Uh, she's quirky and fun. I'd love to do a movie with her. Number two is going to be off uh, left field, but I love him. Adam Sandler. You know guys who watch New Media Stew, I'm all about loyalty and trust. Adam Sandler is old school in the sense that he has always put his family and friends and the people that he loves in his movies. And his and dog. I his dog. There you Meatball, go. Meatball, right? Correct. There. See, how do She's I know awesome. that? She's awesome. <laughs> So I don't give a, I don't give a damn how many Razzies you win. If you have that loyalty and trust, I will always say yes to you, Adam Sandler. He's gonna be calling you. He's gonna say he's like that. John Page now. I need him. That was a pretty good <laughs> like, voice there, right? It, I, very good. And, and by, by the way, another way I'd like to do movies with is right next to me over here. Thank so you. Cast us both. Yeah, we'll we'll be there. We'll be. Yes. There. Who would you like to do a movie with? Who would Besides I like to me? do? Oh man, you know I'm gonna have to see Marky Mark. I still call him Marky Mark too, but only if he's shirtless. I'm sorry, John, but he's my first shirtless wonder. I forgot which movie it was, but he got a lot of flack for being out of shape and being a little pudgy. Because once you get in a certain shape and people get used to you, the haters the love to hate. Though. That was the character. No, no, he just didn't. No, he he was supposed he was he was shirtless in the movie the whole time, so he was supposed oh. to be ripped. He was supposed to be ripped, and that's why people were ripping him. When you get those abs and you get all fit and ripped and all shit like that, you paint yourself into a freaking corner. Okay, you paint. <laughs> You would, a know. Freaking corner. It's, it's you would a, know. You people make me miserable. Next question, uh, Kathleen Marino, someone awesome. Uh, Twitter again. Did you have a favorite Super Bowl commercial? Super Bowl, right? Mm -hmm. Or Disney? Or the Puppy Bowl? Right. Like so I went with Disney, and now I can do all the dance moves from High School Musical one and two. Damn stuff. Yeah, and Camp Rock because I I got so excited here I dropped my card. But Damn no, stuff. I I refuse to go yes, into the most ex and watch the most expensive commercial. I can't even talk. The most expensive commercial of the entire year. I just don't subscribe. Sorry. I'll say um, the only one that I saw because I work at Buzz sixty and we were doing a story on it is Kate Upton's commercial for Mercedes. So uh, she's trying to. Be classy? Is that what we're saying? There you go. So uh, by default, she, Kate Upton, winner. Next question is from uh, Tara Cushing, the Bravo bitch. Uh, I've switched Love back to Tara. Love Tara. Yes, I've switched back to afternoon workouts because I'm uh, much stronger than. Even though I hear AM is the best, does it really matter when? Um, I will say uh, for cardio, yes. Cardio first thing in the morning, whether you're first shift, second shift, third shift, whatever, before breakfast, you're going to maximize fat burning because your blood sugar and your insulin levels are low and stable. Because your blood sugar levels are low and stable, what happens is you maximize fat burning because your body has to tap into stored body fat for energy. However, for weight training, that's fine to do later in the day because you don't want to exercise with weights on an empty stomach. Okay, guys, the last question comes from loyal Stu Crew member Michael Warbucks on the twatter. And he says, best and worst things about living in New York City, go. You know what? Worst thing, I'm going to have to go back to smell. If you've ever walked through Chinatown in July, you know what I'm talking about. And the best thing is all the food in New York City. I mean, you can eat for $5 or $50 any time of night or day. And that's what I love. Yes. As soon as I get off the train in New York City, I get a feeling of power, a feeling of energy that I don't get anywhere else in the world. So it's the best city in the world for that. The worst thing about it is the price. I hate spending money and everything is freaking expensive. On that note, guys, please keep those questions coming down below in the doobly do. Is there anything that we won't answer, do you think? Well, we'll see. Surprise us, gang. Surprise oh, us, oh, Stu Crew. Now that you say now, now, that. Now it's pressuring. I know, yeah, I know. you've really opened up Pandora's no. box with well, that. Well, let's put it this way. You have the permission to ask whatever you want to ask. Of course, that doesn't mean we're going to answer it. <laughs> and on that note, guys, much love, love and, and respect. respect. What's up, world? It's your boy Day Storm, and you're watching New Media Stew with my boy John Based Out. Y'all make sure y'all get chunk. Hey guys, Daily Grace here, telling you to subscribe to John Based Out's channel. Did you do it yet? Did you do it?